Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Windows Autopilot Hybrid Join. And what that means is uh, we'll take the PC, the Windows PC, whether it's Windows 10 or 11, join it to Azure AD, enroll it in MDM or into an MDM, and then join it to the on-premise domain controller. Now, in order to do that, this machine has to have a way to contact the domain controller and the domain controller has to be 2016 or above now a lot of uh, times and i've seen a lot of videos where people are uh, basically struggling to get this working because uh the, the, there are a lot of uh, blue screen errors where you try to join it and then uh, you come up with an error and it doesn't work and some people say you have to wait and it's not really practical but I'm going to show you today how to do it and do it correctly in order to get it going every time. So basically every time you run a machine through the autopilot, it'll join Azure AD, it'll enroll in MDM, and basically it'll join your domain controller without any errors. Now again, this the, the, the machine would have to have uh, a way to reach the domain controller. So in this demo, I'm running the machine from the same network where the domain controller is sitting and that's when it's actually we're going to work all, all the time some people would want to work it uh, or run it from outside using a, a, a vpn before the machine goes through the autopilot and that works too but i'm going to run this from uh, on-premise so this is the machine the windows 10 machine and this is the domain controller and uh, we're going to go through the process of doing it so the machine is able to uh, contact the domain controller in this case so here's my domain controller it's a server 2016 and i have a domain and uh, basically what we want to do is uh first we want to create an ou and this ou basically uh would be where intune would be joining the machine that uh, we, we go through the autopilot with and and we want to tell intune to save this machine to this ou so we go, we say create new OU. You call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it auto pilot PC or PCs. And now we will have to uh, give some permission on this OU so it can uh, do the work. So we right click and say delegate control. And what we're trying to do is give the DC control to actually write to this OU and we add we change the object type to computers and basically I'm going to type the DC name so next we're going to create a custom task to delegate and we say next and we're going to choose here computer objects and check these two boxes here click next and then you just give full control here and that's gonna you know check check all all of them and you say next and finish now the next thing we want to do is to install the intune uh, connector and we go to endpoint.microsoft.com devices windows windows enrollment and then this is the intune connector for active directory we say add and basically it's asking us to download the agent and install it so i'm going to go ahead and download it so at this point i'm going to double click the software and install it so at this point i'm going to agree and install I'm going to hit configure now. I'm going to sign in to Endpoint Manager with my credentials. And the password. We 
Okay, and we get this message, the intel connected for active directory successfully enrolled. And that's it. Now, if we go back to Azure and we look at uh, the connector status, we can find the server registered there. If I hit refresh here, as you can see, my server now is active and it's registered. And so at this point, we're left with uh, doing two things. One is create a group policy in our domain controller to register devices in Azure AD. And the last thing is basically reconfigure Azure AD Connect to uh, write back to our domain controller and to do the hybrid join. I do, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you already have Azure AD Connect in your environment running. So what we do is we go to the group policy management. And here you want to think about where you want to run your group policy. So what I'm going to do is run it on that OU that we created earlier, which is Autopilot PC. However, if you are planning to uh, run uh, all your PCs in your domain, basically you would create the policy on that OU where you have all your computers. In this lab, I only have this OU, which uh, Intune is going to write to. So I'm just syncing this OU and I'm gonna configure everything according to this on this OU. So we will create a new group policy and we'll call it, for example, Intune or Azure device registration. I will edit this OU, uh, this GPO, I'm sorry. Under computer configurations policies, Windows settings. I'm sorry, it's administrative uh, templates. And then Windows components. And then device registration. And we simply enable this. And that's it. So now this policy basically would register uh, all our devices in that OU to Azure AD. And now the next thing is to reconfigure Azure AD Connect for write back and hybrid registration. So we're going to hit configure. We'll go to uh, device options. And that's what we want. We say next. I'm going to log in. So as you can see, configure hybrid Azure AD join. I'm going to say next on this one. And I'm going to do Windows 10 or later, domain join devices. Azure Active Directory. I'm just going to enter the uh, domain admin credentials. I'm going to say next, next, and just wait for it to uh, configure. And say configure. Now I'm going to exit and do that again to enable device write back. And now I'm going to say configure device right back. To pick the domain or the forest. And again, I'm going to enter the domain admin here. And it's basically now ready to configure. And we hit exit. Okay, so now we're done with the domain controller configurations. We need to go to Intune now and create a deployment profile and then a configuration profile. So we click on deployment profile, create a Windows PC. Let's call it hybrid join profile. We see next. 
we call we let's uh, do hybrid joint Azure AD. Now, one uh, really important point here is the uh, skip AD connectivity check. If you leave this on no, this is gonna basically pass one out of ten times. Keep it as yes to skip it, even if your machine is an on-premise. For some reason, Azure is still not perfect in this part. But if you leave it as skip it, it'll actually work every time. That's a very good point. Now I'm gonna go with the uh, defaults here. I'm gonna leave the user as standard. I'm gonna set the language to English USA. And hit next. I'm gonna add a group. I do have a group that I created earlier that would catch all autopilot devices. If you want to learn how to create a dynamic group that catches the devices, you can. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below, and I'll just create it. Now, the last thing we need to do is a configuration file. So here's the configuration profile. So we uh, click on create a profile. We want it for Windows 10 or later. Templates, domain join. I'm going to call it Domain Joined PCs Profile. You can call it whatever you want. Now here, what you want to call your PC is that you would be running from auto, in autopilot. I'm going to tilt and tune to start the PC name with LT dash and then go from there. Just put any uh, random characters. Azure would add random characters or Intune. This is my domain name. And the last part is where I want my uh, PCs to be joined in what OU. And I'm going to show you how to get this. Simply make sure your view is on advanced features. Right click on the OU. Go to attribute editor. editor. And what we want is a disting distinguished name. So I'm just going to copy this. And simply paste it here. You hit next. Now I'm going to assign it again to the group that catches all autopilot devices registered and in tune. I'm going to say next, next, and create. So at this point, we're ready to go through the autopilot uh, demo, and that's what we want to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Windows 10 PC on the out of box experience. So this is my machine, and the first thing I'm going to do is register this with, with Intune. We're going to do it quickly. I also have another video that I'm going to leave a link to in the description that shows you how to do it step by step and gives you the commands if you need it. So we first start by Shift F10. This would bring up the uh, command prompt. We type PowerShell, and then this line, we will say yes three times here. This is the second time. And this is the third time. And now we'll set the execution policy as unrestricted. And the last command. And we uh, go with the last command. This is going to basically bring the pop up for uh, our login name and password to Azure or Intune. This is the username. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the password as well. Sign in. It'll start showing that it's connected. And uploading the device, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. I'm gonna pause and come back when it's done. It's gonna take a few seconds only. As you can see, it took about five to six seconds, and now it's done. It's showing that all devices synced, and this now is an Azure. And we'll go take a look at it in the portal now in Endpoint Manager. In the meantime, while we're going there, please remember to subscribe and like this video for more content. And all right, so as you can see now, the device is uh, uploaded here to the Intune service, and the profile is getting assigned right now, the one that we created for hi hybrid join. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's uh, assigned so we can continue. All right, so this took about seven minutes, and as you can see now, it's assigned. If we click on it, the uh, profile that we assigned is the hybrid join profile, which we created earlier. And now we're basically ready to go through the uh, autopilot and, and and join the machine to the domain. So let's go to my VM. And I uh, powered it off. So let's power it on right now. And it should get detected by Intune once it uh, gets an IP address. 
and show that into an autopilot screen. All right, as you can see now, the PC was detected by Intune, and we just have to put in the email address or the username of a user that has uh, Intune license and the password. And now it's gonna take a while. We just have to wait. I'm gonna pause the video and come back Come back when it's uh, done. It's gonna take some time for this to work. So once it's uh, completed, we should see a sign-on screen uh, with the domain and everything. So we'll see. Now, while this is running, we can actually check and see if the machine is joined to the domain by going to the domain controller and take a look at the AOU. So as you can see, the machine is already here. It started with LT dash and then Azure added some character to, to it, but the autopilot is still running. As you can see, it's still running here. But we know that the domain join is successful simply because now the machine exists in our Active Directory. And now it's rebooting, it's probably gonna come back to uh, the login screen. I also wanted to show you this machine, which is uh, the one that is running. As you can see, it's it's Azure AD joined. It's not hybrid joined. And the reason is we're waiting for Azure AD Connect to run and make it a hybrid. So the next time Azure AD Connect runs, this would turn into a hybrid. And we'll see that in a minute once the uh, autopilot gets done. And now while we're waiting for this machine to complete, please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. That would just motivate me to create more content for you. All right, finally it's completed. As you can see, the login screen came. Here's the domain. All I have to do is log in to the domain. And that's it. We are inside the, the, the domain right now. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run the AD Connect sync so it can turn into a hybrid join machine. So I'm going to use this command to force it. This is basically going to run the Azure AD Connect and sync it to Azure. And now we're going to go in a little bit and check Azure this should uh, turn into a hybrid joint machine. Okay, so as you can see now, this is the machine and it's Azure hybrid hybrid joint, hybrid AD joint. Now don't panic if you two, if you see two machines. This should basically consolidate with this one. This took about four or five hours to appear. So uh, have some patience, but by tomorrow, these two would uh, consolidate and you'd only have this this machine. So here's our machine that we uh, joined to the domain. And if we check the name, as you can see, this is the same name. It's joined to the domain and it's appearing in Azure. So what we've done is basically we brought a machine through the autopilot, we joined it to Azure, and then we enrolled it in MDM, and then we joined it to on-premise domain controller and we hybrid joined it to Azure again. And that's all you need to, uh, to do, and that's it. Well, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video.